Hey, what's going on? Before I get into this video, I want to quickly mention that I've started a Patreon. And so in the description below, be sure to follow the link to my Patreon page where you can learn more about the exclusive benefits that my patrons will have access to, including original content that I won't be posting anywhere else, as well as original artwork from me. So be sure to check that out. I would really appreciate it. And there's also going to be links to my other socials where you can check out what's going on inside and outside of the studio. Now let's hop on into this video and what you're looking at right now is footage of me painting in late 2019 during my artist residency in Iceland. And my thought process going into that residency was that I would need to paint everything in acrylic for ease of shipping everything over to Iceland and also having everything dry enough to ship back to the US safely once my residency ended. And even though the paintings were received well and the exhibition was a success, personally, I was not completely satisfied with the results. I thought the transitions could have been smoother and the detail could have been more refined. And so I always knew one day I would probably come back to these paintings and refine them in oil paint to try to get the result that I was looking for. And so the painting that I'm working on in these clips right now is the painting that I decided to refine first. And so I'm gonna quickly walk you through the steps that I took to refine it. Here, you can see that I totally redid the background and tried to smooth out the transitions within the Aurora. And then this clip shows uh, more detail within the mountain range and the foreground. I added a lot more detail and color variation and so I was a lot more satisfied with that result and all that was left to do once that dried was to put in the stars in the sky. And so this is footage of me starting with the base layer of stars. I ended up having about three or four different layers of stars and that's what I do with most of my dark sky pieces to first lay in a more subtle and dark and distant layer of stars that are usually closer together and more clustered, and then gradually build up layers that get brighter and brighter until you have the most intense stars at the end. And there's little differences and subtleties like stars that were within the Aurora light band are actually green even though your mind would tell you that that's a star and it's just a normal uh, gray or white or whatever, um, within the band, those stars are actually subtly green and yellow. So I had to pay attention to the colors and values um, depending on where the stars were in the sky. And even though this process is very repetitive and tedious, it is also by far one of the most satisfying parts of producing these dark sky pieces because just adding these little pricks of light in the sky brings so much life and vibrance to the composition and the skyscape and it's really fun to see that kind of happen within a short period of time and i realize you're pretty dependent on my description of all this right now and that's because when i had the idea for this video um, i had already <laughs> almost completely finished this painting. So I didn't have a lot of footage of me working on this piece. Only had a couple short clips and photos. So I apologize for that. But in future videos of refining these Iceland pieces, I wanna make sure to uh, record the whole process so that you can see for yourself how everything happens and comes together. But I still hope you enjoyed this little glimpse into the transformation of this piece. And again, be on the lookout for future videos in the very near future. And so until then, stay well.